17 more are free from Hamas today, including four-year-old American Abigail Idan. In exchange, Israel released 39 Palestinian prisoners, all of whom were minors. Ralph Sanchez has the latest from Tel Aviv. For a third night in a row, we are seeing Israeli hostages emerging out of Gaza in exchange for Palestinian prisoners released from Israeli jails. But the choreography tonight was different from what we have seen so far. 13 of those 14 Israeli hostages, rather than going south through Egypt and then back over into Israel, tonight were handed over to the Red Cross in northern Gaza and went directly over the border into the hands of Israeli forces. Now, we believe the reason for this new choreography was because one of the elderly women who was among the hostages is in severe medical condition. She was flown directly from the border to a hospital in Israel. Among those hostages freed tonight, four-year-old American Israeli toddler Abigail Idan, and her story is extraordinary. Both of her parents were murdered by Hamas terrorists in the kibbutz Kafar Aza on October 7th. This little girl wandered over from her own home to a neighbor's house. She was sheltered by a neighbor's family until that family was themselves kidnapped and taken into Gaza. That family was released tonight along with Abigail, although her two older siblings did survive the October 7 terror attack. Now, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was inside of Gaza with Israeli forces today. And on this third night of the four-night ceasefire, all eyes are starting to look towards the possibility of this deal coming to an end. President Biden said earlier he is hopeful that it could be extended under this pre-agreed formula, one additional day of ceasefire in exchange for 10 more hostages. But right now there is no firm agreement. And at 7 a.m. local time on Tuesday, this ceasefire deal will end. Raf Sanchez, NBC News, Tel Aviv.